when did we start working on this? I guess it was um, well, a you, while ago. No, it was oh, earlier than the other. The, oh, the, right. the filming was in December. Um, I think we first chat. I think we spoke about it in the summer. Um, you and you said something about, "Hey, would you be interested in doing one of these um, uh, pandemic?" Uh, films, remote films, and we said, why, sure, that would be great fun, and you gave us several of the Poe stories, Why? and this one, the, the, um, shadow. the shadow, a parable, because it, it, you know, it talks about a pandemic, and it, the, um, the year had been a year of terror, it says, right. and, uh, the, the, the pestilence was spread abroad, the wings of the pestilence were spread abroad, and stuff like that, and we, and, and we thought, that it was of the of the ones of the uh, stories that you proposed, we liked. We thought this one was the most resonant and would be the most fun for us to play. You know, to, to do the multiple characters. It seemed like it seemed like something we could. Right, right. And then for me, a really um, important moment, uh, Sabrina, was your. I think it was your suggestion about uh, a séance, and. Um, so using this, you know, the, the uh, spirit photography after this uh, civil war, mm. we really just um, made a lot of bells go off for me. Um, because when I even started to experiment with it here with my daughter, I just suddenly became aware of like, how being confined from COVID, you know, how much you, I missed people and how there was, you know, this period after the Civil War, when there had, which is a period of great, following great death, great mourning and such, that um, there was something really resonant with, um, with this quality of spirit photography, of being able to make them appear and disappear, and how, how much I yearned for that ability. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, so I just, I, I loved that idea. Um, we added on at that point too, that we, we were really happy with the, the idea of, of sort of putting it in Edgar Allan Poe's Victorian period. Yes. We have the costumes and the sort of the furniture and ra rather than the original, which is really sort of a classical Greek or Roman or something, um, probably Greek suggested in, the, in some of the- Right. Records. That, so that was that was a, a fun appeal for us too. Yes, I love that um, that period and doing it then. And then we also talked about how uh, at that time people really had to entertain themselves. And you know, for example, um, the 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 stars and planets on on the umbrella that Sabrina invented. You know, that was really you know, made me think of like people in a house, uh, you know, uh, kind of- With nothing to do and no television. Right, exactly. And how inventive uh, you could be, you know, when you, uh, uh, whereas, you know, now we're constantly bombarded uh, with distractions. There was just uh, how people in the, in the uh, boredom was actually a, a problem and you could, you know, force you to be creative. And uh, uh, so that was that was really great. Um, and then at some point, I think after we really started working on it, um, the uh, the whole thing of of um, of when this takes place that there's some kind of uh, uh, a glo some kind of disaster, which is as far as we know over overwhelming or, or global or planetary. And then within that, this interior world, which is kind of going on and, 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 the, and, and repetitive in the sense that death is something which a barrier that has been crossed and they, and they kind of repeat this and can, it was, it was um, a lot of fun to work on. Um, and then, uh, you know, you did. You guys did everything. <laughs> I really, I I love getting the uh, credit for it because 
You guys did all of the lighting, all of the costuming, all of the camera. Um, you know, it was uh, that camera. Uh, the camera thing might be of interest to people because because it doesn't to me. Just looking at the product, you don't realize. I don't think one realizes how odd the process was in terms of having you look at your computer in New York, seeing Rena's right. iPhone, and with the settings that she could, you would say, oh, go up to 92. Ooh, no, too far. Go down to 86. And she would do the adjustments in the, you know, so you were directing the, you know, the, the camera remotely while we're here in Maryland in, you know, um, uh, and it was fascinating. And then we would have you on, uh, you know, on chat or, or, yeah. uh, uh, so we zoom. could zoom, we could talk to you and even see you and, uh, you know, adjust things, you know, in, in the camera that you were looking through remotely. Uh, to me, that was, that was amazing. And that, and that it, and it doesn't, it doesn't show in the final product. Yes. I mean, um, some of the choices were made, I think were, were, uh, you know, guided by that in terms of the, the simplicity of the setting, you know, but, but so was the story that we picked that was, it happens in that enclosed space. Um, which we could create here in basically in our little studio. Yep. Yeah, um, and Mark, you were saying just before we started uh, recording, you were talking about the original story with Poe and then going back now and looking at what were key details. There was the mood and the um, resonance of the mood, but then certain items we kept from the story uh, which included um, the seven, the, the representation of seven. There were seven people in the room. There was a shrouded body in front right. of an open door. The light, right? The lamp. The, the lamp. Um, there yes. Was, there were lamps. The, the planets. The planetary. Um, yes. Movement. Um, and uh, the shadow. Uh, the shadow. The oh, right. The sort of composite shadow. Yes. Yeah, at the, in the at the at the sort of the, the climax of the of the short story, which is only basically like two two pages long. Um, uh, yeah, uh, and then also the wine. There was a, a, a the wine. Oh, yeah. that, and there was a thing, you know, with the um, and and yet we laughed and were merry in our proper way, which was hysterical, and sang the songs of Anacreon which are madness and drank deeply, although the purple wine reminded us of blood. Um, so we have that, that, those were little, little elements and it's, even though this was, you know, the, the gods of Egypt and, and the god of Chaldea and the names are all like Latinate, Greco-Roman, that uh, picking, picking the details of the, um, the strange and kind of, it's, well, and also kind of universal. Yeah. So those elements we still do, you know, we still drink wine. We still um, make merry. Make merry. Have nostalgia. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. I the the thing I changed. I think one thing was to um, <coughs> was rather than end it with the with the um, that kind of ghost was to have it repeat. I was very interested in the, you know, the idea that um, this kind of repetition that they, there's a way in which this returns and repeats. And, Usara. Yes, yes. Um, so that was, uh, that was really, really interesting to do. I have to say, I love Silent Strike. Uh, yes. the music. Oh, it's good. So, so wonderful. Yeah, it's it's perfect, and some of the um, some of the comments in the chat while we were watching today, uh, you know, on the, the, the live stream, were specifically mentioned the the power of the music. Um, yeah, it was it was really really took it took it somewhere. Um, we also another I think an important decision along the way uh, in the previous one that you had worked the the previous story the the red the mask the red, of the red death yes the death. You used a lot of the original text, and at some point along the way, we decided, well, we don't want to use all the text, and then we sort of said, oh, we don't need, we don't really need any of the text. And, yeah. And we, uh, so we went with the, just sort of the visual mm. evocation of the mood and the room and the right. Uh, yeah, yeah, 
Yes, true. I and um, I want to uh, also uh, acknowledge uh, Alicia Trimble's um, card title cards that she painted for this film. And oh yeah, oh. are lovely and add a really nice quality um, to the beginning yeah. and the end. Um, yeah. Um, anything else or? I don't know. Do there any of the rest of you have any questions? Yeah, are oh. there any questions? Oh, 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 oh. oh sorry. Uh, sorry. Oh. Just put them in the chat. Oh, oh. No. oh yeah. Well, um, I'll keep those. Oh, cards. thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it was it was fun. You know, R Richard and I go way back. We were in college together. We went to um, and Richard was in my thesis production of Wojtek and. Then we before I was even born. Yeah, that's before. No, almost oh. not quite. You were a toddler. <laughs> um, and then uh, we also uh, and then we went to Paris and worked at Etienne de Cruz Studio. Yes. So uh, it was fun to get get back in a in a sort of a virtual room with Richard again, and and uh, um, it was yeah. So that was yeah. That was yes, absolutely. Um, and then and to uh, discover Sabrina to be able, I mean, wow, what a, it was such a treat to, I must say, <laughs> we'll talk later, but what a treat to uh, uh, work with both of you. And uh, also to see, I have to realize to find out what's in your closet. I mean, those costumes were just so great. Yeah, it was really yeah. also to sort of create a bunch of different Victorian people, uh, you know, with with right up my alley, right up our alley. We had so much fun with the, you know, like oh, well, he could have facial hair. Oh, he could be a pompous jerk. Glasses, oh, yeah. glasses. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and uh, to to make a bunch of characters, and also oh yeah, the daguerreotype thing. Which oh yeah. Because we, we wanted the imp how how to represent the seven people. Um, and you came up with the idea of having, you know, the images, and you talked about daguerreotypes, and then we, we which did... was also very period. And in fact, one of the daguerreotype frames that we purchased had a Civil War soldier in it. Wow. And then, but then we decided that the I think you decided, Richard, that the quality of tin types was better than the daguerreotypes for the for the reproduction or something, because Sabrina basically took the. Uh, uh, original daguerreotype tin type frames they were all done in the, those little right. bra, uh, you know brass gold frames and you know sort of folded and she took those and then took um pictures of these the various characters that we made um and get a did a treatment that made them look like tin types right it was tin types not tin type filters yeah tin type yes yes yeah. Uh, and then, but they were, you know, the actual size was just like this. So, but because of the magic of movies, you could see them in the background and then zoom in on them later on, uh, later on to, uh, and then, yeah, I, I, that was a fun um, a little chapter in the process too. And it was fun for me editing it was to have the characters interact, you know. Uh, which you mentioned a lot in the process was, um, your excitement about the technology, about leaning in to the technology yes. for this, and the the possibility of experimentation with, you know, some of the yes. uh, illusions. So it was fun for us to see how you followed through on that. Right, like the cup. At first, the cup was just going. We were going to hold the position, and the cup was just going. Right. To then you did that sort of melty. Ma movie Meta magic to yeah. make it, making it so the whole thing morphing into into shape and also that uh, there was a uh, and the 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 movement of the you know yeah just just the way you sort of played with the technology was really great to yeah. see you know, it was interesting you know is that um i still started in film and i've really realized this was this was really an opportunity with the other po video as well but even more with this one was to embrace video you know embrace yeah. what you can do with just being able to manipulate the images and and uh, uh and just play with them and layer them um uh has been uh, so this was really a chance to kind of 
uh, play with the paint box. And, and yeah, like for example, the originally when one of the early drafts, I think the appearance of all of the the characters when they met, sort of manifest in their chairs, there was a similar quality to their manifestation. But then we talked about well, they could you know they could there are there different ways for them to appear and and you say oh yeah and then you started finding you know like uh, war war and poof and bang and you know the the different yeah. effects of their their appearances so that it was a variety that kind of uh, uh, spoke uh, of their their characters as well as the variety of of uh, uh, yeah it was it was the, the sort of the toolbox that was available to you there on that was fun. So I'll have to find a, an effect to when this video ends, you know, where we kind of go poof. Yeah. Because yeah. we do we do have some that we can do when we do this yeah. little switch here. We it's the it's the enlargement where it goes like we get oh, that's large, good. like that and then we can get smaller. And we can also pan across this way. Oh, amazing. Like that? Yeah. That is such high tech. We do that, but but we do it with, uh, you know, without the background moving too. So it's like, it's yeah. very. Oh, that's. There are glitches and oh, we, yeah. yeah. But, but and you, was, you know, was, like that. Yeah. They don't happen very often though. We have really you know, good And sometimes here. only one of us goes into the. And, but it doesn't. Oh, um. That's what we call it split screen, but it's really able to do split screen when it happens like that. Exactly, exactly. 